Okay, so I'm just gonna be doing my quickie review of Agents of tonight's Agents of Shield, um, which is basically just I don't even know what the fucking episode number is. It's basically just a poorly disguised pilot for the um, for Marvel's Most Wanted. It's supposed to be starring Bobby and Hunter because basically they follow. Gideon Malik to Russia. He's basically using a general to lead a Russian coup to basically assassinate a Russian prime minister. Using an inhuman general, Russian general, who has the power to turn his shadow to like manifest itself, become sentient, and you know murder people and do its own do its own wishes. And you know none of the inhumans on the team can fight it because you know it's incorporeal, and so. It leads to Bobby having to assassinate the Russian general, and and basically Bobby and Hunter are taken as prisoners, and it takes President Ellis and Agent Coulson to prevent things from escalating and leading to a world war, and but they just but after Hunter and Bobby have a discussion, they decide that they're both willing to be disavowed as agents just so it won't lead to a war or a cold war between America and Russia. And it, the episode's called Parting Shots, which is basically little parting shots where each member of the Agents of Shield and the main characters give them all shot, shots to Bobby Hunter as a way of saying goodbye. It's a really, like, pretty powerful, like, t touching scene. Um, it also addressed throughout the episode how Hunter and Bobby, because of their the lives they live as spies, they don't really have any quality time to, you know, go on, hunt, you know, you know, go on a honeymoon or, like, kind of, an, or go on a vacation or basically enjoy themselves. And even to the point where even Max suggests that even Hunter has a point that the work kind of, like, dictates their lives and... There's even like this little moment where um, Agent May basically addresses why he hate why she hates Hunter is because of the fact that back in the first half of, se of season three, how she he, she tried to kill Ward when he took Andrew hostage and still wanted to kill still wanted to kill him anyway just to avenge Bobby. And he said it's for selfish reasons that you're an agent. You can't be doing things for selfish reasons that you have to make sacrifices for the greater good. And she says, even I had to do that. And knowing her history, and Hunter knowing her, her history with Andrew, you know, off, you know, he says that he pities her. And I mean, the fact that, you know, even though this episode proved that I do actually have faith that Hunter and Bobby could carry their own series I just it just feels like I just rather have them remain cast members on the on the main Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. show because of the fact that I don't th I don't think there will be characters that will be interesting that will be able to fill the void as much as they have and I know it's sad to see them go, but you know, you know, time will tell whether this whole like Marvel's Most Wanted spinoff will mm -hmm. be a success or not. And you know, maybe the showrunners will be nice enough to have the characters come back to, agent, you know, Agents of Shield in some capacity if it you know falls through. But like I said, time will tell. It was a good episode. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. This, this is kind of like abrupt, short, and sweet, but. Quite frankly, I've, I've spent so many hours, like, I've spent, like, so many fucking hours just trying to edit the YouTube video for my Flash review, and whoever the fucking webmasters are on this YouTube page, they're fucking incompetent, and I'll just get into that later, but overall, it's a good episode. I recommend checking it out. You know, let me know what you guys think. Let me Leave your comments and thoughts comments and thoughts down below if you like this video like share and subscribe i'll talk to you guys soon and have a good night